Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark. In our Against All Odds series, we are currently hiding from yet another wolf. Actually, right now, it's just the middle of the night, so we can't really do that much. But we just woke up after some rest. Sounds like the weather's pretty rough outside, but not necessarily so rough that we can't go places. Um, in The Long Dark, I have had a good amount of luck, uh, especially when I have as much gear on me as I do, and I have a lot of gear at present. Um, since we've replaced, actually, tell you what, we need to go ahead and harvest this. Well, do we need to harvest it, or should I maybe put it down with the Quonset? Yeah, I'll put it down with the Quonset. We'll save that that vest. There's no reason to get rid of it. We're going to have plenty of cloth. But um, my main objectives right now are to... Where am I in this house? I'm in the bedroom, aren't I? I can't bloody see. All right. I can see, but I can't see enough to see where I'm going. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. All right, here's a door, right? No, that's a window. I'll tell you about my objectives in a second. Hold that thought. <laughs> Leave house. There we go. All right. Let's step out front. Alright, got a wolf heading towards us, which is why I immediately jumped in here. Let's grab these matches in the name of continuing to search. Where are you, though, is the question. Don't know where the wolf is. He could be right outside this door. Right. Anything back here? Nope. Oh, hello. Hi. Holy mother of God. Hi. How's it going? All right. Um, wolf's right outside. <laughs> Jump scare. Jesus. Um, as I was saying at the end of the last episode, I am at 100% condition. I am not particularly worried. Hang on. Let's also see. We have risk of intestinal parasites at 4% at the moment. I'm not particularly worried about any of my condition at the moment. Um, I am fully sated as far as my thirst goes um i'm gonna need to eat a little bit soon i actually should probably go ahead and eat one of these wolf steaks that's going to raise my risk of parasites a little bit higher which is why i'm kind of trying to avoid it so maybe i'll wait let's go ahead and eat the new pork and beans instead i'm doing this to raise my uh calories yes but also i'm trying to drop a little bit of weight um i'm, I'm a little bit encumbered at the moment uh with all the stuff that i'm carrying what actually what did i pick up the heavier was it is it just the water because I left not too long ago. I feel like I picked up something else. Maybe it was picking up the books that that weighed me down more. We're just carrying so much stuff. We have a good amount of sticks on us. We've got this wood. I need to put some of this stuff down. I already put a good bit down in the last episode. We're wearing a lot of clothing too. And we do have that new down vest on. That's what it is. That's Yeah, I picked up the, the new Mariner's Pico. But I haven't put the new down vest down yet. Um, and we all, we, st we do still have this wolf meat on us, so that's affecting us, and a lot of water. So yeah, things are adding up at the moment, but, um, let's see. I think I have an idea. First of all, let's step outside and crouch immediately. Got a couple of wolves on me right now. I can't remember if I've been through this car, have I? Nope, I haven't. All right, let's step inside here for a second. Dances with Wolves, featuring Hadrian. <laughs> season two, <laughs> or rather season four, because that's what every Against All Odds season has been. Um, I have been in here, almost positive. I think this is one of the houses that I did go into, but let me just double check. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Well, I'm getting mixed up, I guess, with, um, right, there's a cotton toque. I bet you there's a flare. Yep. Very consistent flare spawn on lower difficulty. And by lower, I mean lower than interloper. All right. Um. Ah, windbreaker. Uh, windbreaker might be worth experimenting with. Let's, because that's some really good wind protection. So we're going to take a look at that in a second. It's always good to have this extra wind protection. Really? All right, extra wood matches. Good. I'm getting mixed up with my interloper playthrough as far as like where I've been in Coastal Highway. I thought I'd been through this house and car already, but I haven't. Good to know. Oh, there's a can opener. Already got a can opener, but there's another one. Yay. Cup of herbal tea. Water purification tablets. I don't think we found any of those yet, so that's a first for the series. As generous as the series has been so far, 
Or as the game has been, I should say. Hey, look, more sardines, my favorite food on the planet. I would love for that to be a running joke going forward. Just never eat sardines. After what happened in, what was it, episode 5? Ah, simple parka. Uh, we'll, we'll experiment with that in a second. That may be better than the ski jacket, but then again, I think it's heavier than the ski jacket, so. Okay, let's step upstairs. Nothing here. Nothing there. Wait. Accelerant. Nothing down here. Cabinet, maybe? Okay. More crackers. Same spot. I, I am noticing that in, in more recent versions of the Long Dark, it seems like the loot tables are being very, very consistent. I, I joke about that flare always being predictable there. There's a hunting knife. Um, about that uh, in just the bottom parts of these areas. But, um... Uh, of these houses. Oh. I feel like this might be one of... This is the warmest sweater around, so this might be a good thing to wear underneath. But it could also be heavy as well, on top of the other heavy stuff we've been picking up. So, yeah, like I said, clothing can get a little bit ridiculous pretty quick in Stalker if you if you continue moving and you're constantly finding stuff. But we've got a number of sodas here. Finding that sweater completely distracted me from whatever I was saying a second ago. All right, we're gonna get some more water, which is good and bad. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. And that's why. All right, nothing there. So yeah, I, oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. The, I feel like the more recent version of the Long Dark, there has been a little bit more consistency in finding items in exact places, which, uh, it's it's not the best feeling ever when you're. Okay. I can't repair this right now. The only way I'd be able to repair it is if I did have more fishing tackle, which I don't think I do. Any equipment to make fishing tackle with? No, none whatsoever. All right, so hang on. If it's at... Let me write this down one second. Rather than trying to do math in my head like I always do. Okay, so this thing is going to be roughly this will be roughly three and a half ish. Actually, I think it'll be exactly. Just drop my damn. Uh, it'll be a little bit more than three uh, than three point five, which which is whereas this is three point four. So this may actually be better than the new ski jacket, but the problem is that. The new ski jacket is significant, or the, the parka is significantly heavier. And this is also more restricting on my motion. It's just as protective. So the ski jacket, I think, is probably going to be a better item to have. So I think what I'm going to do, I need to drop some of my items here. Um, I want to drop them at the Quonset, honestly. But right now we are, again, we're avoiding wolves. What else do I have? i got that windbreaker. Now the windbreaker has ridiculous wind protection. So it's good to have one of these on the outer layer, but then, and it would be beneficial in one sense because, what am I looking for? There we go. Um, it'd be beneficial in one sense because this thing, no, I actually did want to look at the other one. There we go. I could put it, basically what I could do is this. So I wouldn't be wearing the ski jacket anymore at all. And instead it'd be replaced by an item that's half as heavy. We wouldn't get as much warmth protection, but we get significantly better protection against wind than we do with a ski jacket. So we'll lose a little bit of warmth, but we'll do better in the wind. And I feel like that's ultimately the way I should go. We've got the Mariner's Peacoat on underneath that. I think that's what I should do. And then, of course, we have the new sweater here. Excellent. Yeah, this is definitely going to be better. I can already tell. All right, so the only issue is that this is twice as heavy. So it's going to balance out, ultimately, if we put this thing on. Which I am going to put it on, absolutely. Uh, but we've just... And we, we've got some great gear. I can't complain, but it's it's heavy. This is... <laughs> it's a lot to carry around. So... 
Let's see. Is there anything that I do want to just go ahead and break down? I don't want to break either of those down. Those are nice items. Even the thick wool sweater I don't want to break down. I do want to break down this thing, though. Don't need it. Let's break down the toque. This game has just showered me with toques, and it's it's hilarious, because I'm I'm on episode 20 as of tonight with my interloper run, and uh, not a single toque to be found whatsoever. It's a little bit stupid. Actually, it's a lot stupid, being totally candid. But, okay, let's... um. Go ahead and drink this soda. Let's drink a couple of sodas, actually, because these do add to our weight, and we are very encumbered. It's going to be tough to get back to the um, to the Quonset from here. Quonset's going to be constantly surrounded by wolves if we use it as our base, but that'll lead to some interesting moments, so I won't complain too much. We actually need to fight a few wolves. I probably need to just take one or two on this episode to get some additional coats, and I need to see if the other one that was dead on the opposite side of this area is still there um, so I can get its coat. All right, so, yeah, tell you what, let's let's pass the time for a few hours. I don't have anything to read. And then I'm going to try, yeah, the sun's starting to come up. I'm going to try sleeping for six hours. We're not going to get to six hours. We're going to get to maybe three if we're lucky. I would imagine more like two and a half. Did I just hear more wind, though? Yeah, I did. Damn. Well, that could be good as far as giving us cover from the wolves. Wolves are a little bit less... Um, Less aggressive, I think, when there's bad weather. I, I don't tend to get tackled by wolves as much when I'm worrying about blizzards. Now, this could be a great time to find out that I'm completely wrong about that, but let's see what happens. Also, I do need to go ahead and eat those wolf steaks. Those are also weighing me down a good bit. We have 4% risk of intestinal parasites. That should be passing soon, though. So, yeah, let's head out and see if we can make it back to the Quonset station in this blizzard. I also need to check the, uh, the car. Yeah, I am really, really weighed down. How we doing? Feels like 30 degrees. Yeah, we're not even that cold. Once we get the windbreaker fully repaired, it's going to provide some nice protection. All right, nothing in here. I see some beef jerky. All right, there's that. Stacy's grape soda. Not just any grape soda. Stacy's grape soda. Do I need that yet, though? Yeah, let's go ahead and drink it. That's a slightly heavier item, so. Sorry, I know the blizzard's loud. I like to have my uh, my wind volume up loud enough to where I kind of feel like I have to talk over it a little bit. Makes things fun. The trouble with this blizzard, too, is it's, I think, uh, bad weather wears down the condition on carcasses pretty rapidly. So let's try and pay a visit to the other carcass really quickly. Or should we head for the Quonset first? I can't make up my mind. Maybe go for the Quonset first. We're halfway there. Let me pay a visit to this... Uh, oh, I've already been through this car. Okay, good to know. Yeah, see, during blizzards, wolves are significantly less problematic. Of course, this is going to get our clothing nice and wet, what we're doing right now. But, uh, yeah, we're... We started to get cold there, but we were mostly okay. All right, so let me go ahead and I need to drop some firewood because I'm carrying some on me that I don't need. Let's drop that. And then we have some clothing over here. I've just kind of started a small bench for clothing. So let's, let's see what I need to drop. 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 Oh, we got those jeans too, I forgot. Hang on, how we do it on, on those? Nah, I'm okay. So I need to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to harvest these jeans. Just going to get the cloth from them. And hopefully when we're done with this, the weather will clear up a little bit. All right, so new ski jacket can go there. Decent simple parka can go... Wow, there's actually not as much room on the top of this thing. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to do in the first place. And then the sweater we are wearing until not too long ago can go there. Okay, and then we'll move those a little bit closer to everything else, just for, I guess they're not going to let us get closer. Weird. All right, put those there. Okay, now I don't have, again, I don't have anything with which to repair. At least I don't think I do. Let's step in here and double check. But I, I don't think I have any extra sewing kits, do I? No, I don't. So I still need to look for some sewing kits. And then, let's see, was there anything else I needed to drop? 
And we need to repair some of these items that I've got on now, because I'm going to get... Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got this, these extra socks, too. Let's harvest these. One of the things I'm going to drop here, as strange as this sounds, I'm actually going to drop my bedroll, because I'm going to finish exploring this zone. And it just... This thing is heavy. It doesn't make sense to lug it around with me. Um, I can also probably go ahead and drop the hacksaw that I'm carrying. So we're going to put the bedroll there. We're going to open up this drawer, and I have a hacksaw on me that we're going to put away. I've got an extra hunting knife I'm going to put away. I've got another flare, yet another. <laughs> Too many flares. All right, I think we're good. Otherwise, hang on, let's drop that flare really quickly. Things are half a pound. Uh, refuel our lantern just a little bit. We're carrying actually a good amount of lantern fuel as well. Yeah, we are. Alright, unfortunately, I wish we could drop... I wish we could combine the, um, the lantern fuel with the jerry can fuel. I wish we could put it all in one. That would be nice. But we can't. So yeah, this is actually... This is a good amount of weight. Let's go ahead and drop these. And I guess I'll keep those on me. Because it'd be good to have some spare. What else? Got that whetstone that's about to... Alright, about to drop condition. Let's go ahead and put this scrap metal away. Same with the rose hips. Well, the rose hips are not that heavy at the moment, are they? That's 0.2 pounds. It does add up. Let's put the cured leather away. Cloth will keep. Well, let's just have five cloth on us. That's all we need to make a snow shelter. So I'm going to transfer that cloth there. And now we're starting to get a little lighter. We do have an extra can opener on us. I'm going to put the extra away. And then, yeah, we're just carrying some wolf meat. So once we get rid of that... Oh, yeah, that's right. I shouldn't put down, put down the down vest either. I knew there was something else. I knew it. Okay, that's that's good. So, is there anything else I'm forgetting, for God's sake? No, there's not. All right. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, relax, Jennifer. All right, let's put the, uh, tell you what, let's just put the down vest at the foot of the bed here. Even better, let's put it, like, like so. Okay, now we're mostly in good shape, encumbrance-wise. I do have some stones on me that are weighing me down. Good number of stones. So I guess I'll put those up, too. We just have a lot of clothes. And the wolf steaks as well. Actually, speaking of the wolf steaks, the risk of intestinal parasites is still pretty high. As soon as that goes away, I'm going to eat the last two, and that'll save us a little bit of weight. But let me open this up and transfer the rocks to this drawer. I can pick up more rocks if I need to. Also, I need to use the charcoal for my map. As soon as I'm in a safe spot, I'm going to do that. Rocks. There we go. There we go, now we're not encumbered anymore. Very nice. What else do I have that I need to... I am carrying a lot of reishi teas, I have to say. Let me go ahead and drink one of those. Just to free up a little bit of weight, you know? And we're good otherwise? The books are heavy as hell, too. But I don't need to be carrying all four of those. So let's drop two. There we go. All right. So... I'm actually going to go out the front entrance. Or am I? Maybe I should go out the back. Let's go out the back. Because I didn't encounter any wolves. I'm going to go over here and see if that other wolf carcass is still here. How are we doing on temperature? It feels like 13, so... Yeah, the other wolf carcass is gone. The risk of intestinal parasites has passed, though, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to head... Back over here. It's really, really windy at the moment, obviously. We're going to get cold if we stay out here too long. We're going to go back to the house we were a second ago, and then climb up into the top area of the zone and start looking around there. And then I guess um, I might head towards Pleasant Valley and Timberwolf Mountain. Might be fun. Let's step in here until the, the blizzard clears. So hang on, let me go ahead and eat that. I'm getting genuinely confused with my interfa interface keys lately. I'm not sure what's happening. 
I, I keep just clicking around like an idiot. Like I've never played this game before. Alright, so we have a 4% risk of intestinal parasites again. I'm not willing to get any higher than that. But eating that wolf steak did reduce our burden a good bit. Alright, so we lost one wolf corpse, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and rest, and hopefully for these couple of hours we're going to get here, the blizzard will pass. Mm, no, didn't pass. So, past time, I suppose. It's only noon, so we have plenty of, we have lots of calories stored up. Do I still have a little bit of wolf steak? Yeah, I do. Let's eat that. Did that add to our risk? Yeah, it did. Bastard, now we're at 9%. Not tired enough. Bull crap. There we go, now it's gone. All right, let's head out. Let's see what we can find. Gonna have to wait a while for that wrist to go away now. All right, so I just booked it to get away from any wolves in the area. There could be a bear up here, so I need to be careful. It's actually still. It feels like 55 degrees right now, but we don't have. Again, we don't have a sewing kit. That's one of the main things we're missing at the moment. Our ability to repair. any of our clothing, and we have a couple of new clothing items that are pretty low condition, so we can do even better once we're repaired up, but until we either find more fishing line and a hook, or find more sewing kits, we are out of luck. All right, now I need to come up here really quickly because there's a, because I don't think I've been here yet. I don't believe. I know I have in the interloper run, but I don't think I have in this run. And yeah, I think we'll head for, I think we're going to go for Pleasant Valley. Um, maybe we'll kill some wolves before I go, but I want to finish exploring Coastal Highway, then take care of that, have those curing maybe while I go to Pleasant Valley and scavenge for stuff, and then come back and have everything I need for a wolf skin coat. Charcoal. I actually do need to do some mapping. I've been very negligent about that, and the charcoal definitely... Like, if you don't use it, it gets heavy in your inventory. So that's a mechanic I'm not used to yet. Ah, Pinnacle Peaches. Nice. There's a chair. Did I get everything I could have? I can break this stuff down for cloth, but I don't really need to. I've got all the cloth I need on me. Alright, so let's step out here, and let's go ahead and... As promised. Are we blocked from the wind? We should be right here. It feels like 56 where we are right now, so it's perfectly safe to... Uh, Use a little bit of charcoal. Let's survey the local area. All right, so that's given us a little bit of visibility. I'm going to head this direction. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. Okay. I promise I'm paying attention as I walk straight toward a bear and go, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Sure you are, dude. That was a close one. Whew. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> don't have a gun yet, so we're not going to risk taking on a bear. Feels like 43, so we're good, cold-wise. Love this feeling. Again, we're not even fully repaired up in terms of our warmth bonuses from our clothing, so we're going to keep moving towards that. All right, still a 9%. Oh, of course it is. It's not going to... It's going to be there for a while. But... We have consumed all that wolf meat, so we're nice and full on our calories. Right, let me actually step up here, so I'm staying off the, the path. Gives me a little bit elevated view of anything that might be straying towards me on said path, like another bear. Which is unlikely, but still possible. Alright, and I actually think that I want to cut up this hill, because I think I know where I am. I think the cabins are right around this rock. Yeah. Bullseye. I know exactly where I am. 
Ah, oh, one of them's burned out. That's a shame. Hey, bunny. Oh, God. Oh, man. Sometimes perspective just makes bunnies look a lot bigger than they actually are. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's take a look through here and see what we can find. I don't think we've been up here yet, have we? No, we definitely haven't. There's a sport vest. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take a look at it, but I doubt we're going to be able to make use of it. Metal container? Anything? Decent wool toque. Oh, dead guy. How's it going? Useless as usual. Lantern fuel. All right, let me take another second to look around here, and then we are going to take a bit of a break. All right, no bears coming that direction. So there's a dead guy behind the cabin that I need to visit. It sounds so morbid. I need to visit a dead guy. Orange soda, pork and beans. All right. Not too shabby. Let me go ahead and eat these um, banged up pinnacle peaches. We might not even get to all of them because our calorie store is so nice, but pinnacle peaches are heavy. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to them all. Oh, no, we did. We ate every, little, every last one of them. So now we're a little bit less weighed down because we were right at the brink of encumbrance there. Step outside. I don't hear any bear crows. I hear the crows circling the body, but nothing else. Oh, a couple of fire logs. Man, I want the fire logs, but I'm not in a mood. I would have to take them back down to the Quonset right now rather than lug them around with me, and I don't know that I want to do that. Ugh. I really don't want to deal with that. Because they're heavy as hell. Screw it. I'll pick them up. <sighs> Dang it. Let's drink this. Oh no, we're good on water. That's right, the pinnacle peaches replenished our thirst in that sense. Um, once again, we're carrying a good amount of extra lantern fuel. What else did I pick up a moment ago? Did I pick up a clothing item that I don't need? Yeah, that's right, I picked up this thing. Let's harvest it for... Well, what does it do for me? No, no, I don't need this. Harvest. This will free up a little bit of weight. Right, we're getting towards the end of the day. So I think, oh yeah, we got this toque as well. Let's harvest that. Always hurts me a little bit to harvest a toque, but we don't need it. We've got two wool toques on the top of our head, so we're in pretty good shape there. Still no sewing kits, unfortunately. Tell you what, before I end this, let's, uh... Let's do a little bit more meandering, shall we? Oh wait, dead guy, hey. You got a pry bar for me? Nice. I really don't care about the pry bar. Alright, nothing on you. Let's go ahead and survey the local area. Alright. That gets rid of a little bit of weight too, so it's always a good thing. I'm going to try and go straight up this hill and see if... As I mentioned, I think, in Faithful Cartographer Interloper recently, I, um... I'm not, I'm still not, like, insanely familiar with the upper areas of Coastal Highway. Like, I'm not very good at navigating up here. I, I still get kind of turned around. Maybe we all do, but... So if I seem like I'm a little bit back to front, just getting turned around up here, that's why. All right, hang on. I might be able to get up here. I generally know what I'm going for right now, but no, I remember trying this before. Yeah, that slope is going to be too much. And there's not a way around. Okay. Yeah, there's not. I think I did that in uh, maybe Against All Odds Season 2-ish. 52 degrees. Yeah, we are very, very warm. Mostly because we're protected from the wind right now, but... Still quite warm.
I don't know if this is going to let us go either. It might. Uh, it might, if we can get around this rock here. Yeah, slope actually looks okay. Oh, uh, maybe not. Actually, oh, I remember being on top of this rock now. Yeah, I remember. I think we came down here in the, the Interloper miniseries. And yeah, we're not going to be able to get up there. Damn, all right. Well, crap, hang on. We're going to keep looking around for a second here, but there's only... Actually, I think I know where this road is leading here. Let me follow this. If I'm not mistaken, this will lead us to a familiar spot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, perfect. This is a good stopping point. There will be a hut straight ahead in three, two, one. All right. I have expended my stamina. So what I'm going to do uh, next episode is we're going to go up that direction, and we're going to hang a right first before we uh, even think about going to Pleasant Valley, but I do think that I probably want to go back down to the Quonset first, so we're going to have to do a little bit of back and forth, because um, I want to set down these fire logs. Or maybe I'll, let, maybe I'll set down the fire logs here, and come back for them. I don't know. I still want to kill wolves. <laughs> There's different options for what I could do here. I've got an energy bar. Nice. More food for our journey. Book. Are those what I think they are? Yeah, combat boots. Now, those are... Hey, a baseball cap. Nice. Simple tools. Yeah, don't need them. I think I can break them down, though, for some scrap metal. So, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and harvest this guy. Need to rest up here anyway. We're starting to get tired. Well, we're about to start to get tired anyway. Combat boots. Now, yeah, these are not as good as the work boots. They provide a little bit more mobility. They're heavier. They have more protection against uh, wolves, against rain, um, but they're not as good warmth wise. I think I'm going to keep the work boots on, being honest with you. I think that's the better option. Maybe I'll keep the combat boots and take them back down with me, but uh, let me go ahead and. Let's just pass the time for an hour so we get a, uh, a save point. And then I will go ahead and stop this one here. And uh, in the next one, like I said, we're going to go a little bit further up and check out the uh, the lookout at the top of the zone. Uh, and then we will have explored most of Coastal Highway, not all of Coastal Highway, so we still have more to do. But uh, we will have made it a good ways around, uh, around the zone and really gotten to a lot of the interior locations. And so then it's a matter of maybe looking after killing some wolves, setting some stuff down at the Quonset or somewhere to where you can come back and get it later, and then heading to uh, Pleasant Valley. Scouring Pleasant Valley, going to Timberwolf Mountain, and then uh, maybe heading for Mystery Lake and Forlorn Muskeg after that. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, along with the rest of my survival, science fiction, and simulation content. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.